Okay, hi Andrews. I'm gonna make now a video to show you how we can make the blinking basic interrupts. Okay, then I'm gonna make a new project. Then file new project. Uh, Stand alone. Next. DSP thirty three. Uh, 128 MP50508 and this kit all movie and XXC. Okay, okay, what I'm what, what gonna show you in this moment we have made a folder called Bigglet. Yeah, then I'm gonna leave the project in the boot projects in the same folder, but this is gonna call Blink. Let timer okay. Okay, uh, timer. It's because I have created the project before with the same name. Blink at LED timer is called the project. This is located inside the Blink LED folder. Okay, there's no problem. In this folder is the master master project we make before. Okay. <coughs> and saying the dense upper years appears the project X structure without files, yeah, without files. Then open the MCC map MPLAF code configurator. My config MC3, link led time out. Oh. Okay, yeah. Save. And I wanna show you what uh, okay, make the leave eight megahertz. There's no problem. Change to PGC PG2. Okay, and pin manager. Port D, port E, outputs, outputs, port D, ah no, port, no, I'm sorry, no, port E, port, port E, zero, port E, one, okay, by outputs, pin model, then you say, let one, let two, and, but we're, we're gonna add a new, Component of peripherals, yeah. This is called the MCP. It is multiple capture compare PWM timer, okay. And they have multiple, uh, but we're going to use single, single capture compare compare PWM one, okay. Peripheral. This peripheral. It's a timer. Uh, let me show you one the the data sheet of this. Okay. Here, okay. This is a uh, this is um, general schematic of timer we're going to use in this moment. This is just one part, okay. Really, the this the timer is more complex, but for the operation mode we're gonna have this is basic op option yeah then <clears throat> this kind of timers have three options of works timer compare compare and capture yeah modes these are the modes 
of cc px what is timer timer is we gonna count from zero to to a uh, exponent to the 16 or if, if we are in the, the 16 bits mode or we can count from 0 to 2 exponential to 32 in 32 bits mode okay it's a larger number this the 2 up elevated I don't know I don't know how you say in English this operation but it's exponential uh, it's a it's a larger number okay 2 elevated to 16 is like it's going to 0 to 6 65 5 I mean or 36 I don't know let me check exponential 16 ah 36 okay. yeah of course is this even okay then we can count with uh, with um, 16 bytes counter up to this number 65 536 okay and the timer what makes just it can count from 0 to this number or the other number we the other number we establish here yeah comes back to the configurator then in here in this part we select timer can compare compare or capture okay we're gonna use the timer enable mccp is enable the free file enable mccp interrupt is important because this creates a routine that that is going to execute each time the counter match the the value we need then come back here to to this board okay then this is the timer mode yeah the 16 bit dual timing mode then here is the time based generator the time based generator let me show you something um, in this case is frequency of oscillator divided to 4 megahertz yeah we can change it yeah i'm gonna make it later but leave in this moment 4 megahertz what it means in this moment no, at this moment it's zero, zero. The the counts that then there is no problem. And the mode is sixteen. Okay, yeah, if we place thirty two, it it leaves just one one timer. Yeah, one compare unit. Sixteen bit leave two compare uh, to compare um, timer. Okay. Timer, timer, primary, special. Okay, what then? How we can calculate the timer interrupt time we need? I'm gonna try to let me see if I can place la larger code, larger font, font. Okay, for example, for okay, oh, yeah. This is a, a speed crunch calculator. I I, I I love them because love this because um, maybe it is. I don't know why it's better for I show you better these calculations. Standard. Use this. Okay. Then how do I make this calculation? For example, you say four megahertz. Four megahertz is four elevated to ten. The ten up. 
up to six. Then up elevated to six. Okay. This is then four, four, four million. Okay. This is this is f the play like f equal four e l six. Okay. F. Now come back to. These are the. This is the uh, in this point appears four megahertz, yeah, and this is gonna use this counter and this counter. But this is gonna start um, from from scratch at zero, and it starts to count zero, one, two, three, etc., etc. But we're gonna use for now this the part of. lower part okay what happens this is gonna count from zero to which value this value for example if I play here 100 this come from zero to 100 and in one 100 did this set high this flag this flag makes me an interrupt and execute me what interrupts. What it means, it's gonna be executed each 100 countings. Yeah. What it means in, in terms of, of calculations, the time is time of increasing of increase the counter is one over f. Yeah. This is the period. Then this is. Uh, 20 250 nanoseconds yeah it is the increasing time if I multiply this time okay we place it like a period period well one of per F if I multiply period by my counter value I found the time, yeah, in this case is uh, 25 microseconds. It means the, the cooperator is going to execute it each 25 seconds, okay? 25 microseconds, yeah? In terms of frequency, it is like 40 kilohertz, yeah? 40 kilohertz It's the frequency of, of sampling is gonna appear if we configure it this in the way This with 100 Okay, let's make this operation and see what happens. Then four megahertz. And this is the secondary timer for, for our purposes. Then place ten. Okay, one hundred. Okay. Uh, generate code. Generate code. Okay. Now I'll go to main projects main. Uh, let me see, let me see, okay. And go to uh, NGC SCCP1 timer. And in secondary, we have two interrupts here CCP1 and CCT1 interrupts. Proteins, yeah? Proteins. What is what routing is gonna execute it then basically the data sheet is the T yeah the T the T routing is this yeah so I want I wanna make let one toggle okay compile 
and see what's wrong. Okay, look at this error. Implicit declaration function. What it means? It is it means inside the uh, the routing is not still uh, included the pin manager. Then I I gonna include all the all the files and then, then again. Okay. In theory, when if I run this code, it show me. It should show me an forty kilohertz. When really, uh, frequency on lead one. Okay. Wait. What happened? See what happens, what appears here. Oh, I can't read this. Okay, I have run the, the, the code, but it's not happening, nothing. What I have to make, I have to initialize the CCP. Timer, yeah. So, how many is uh, here? This is start. Yeah, start the CS CCP one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, here yeah. check what make this declaration. It say it's initialize this code, initialize done, but the Timer is not started. Okay, now it's started. Again, compile and run this. Okay. Let me see if I can show you the the oscilloscope. <coughs> Run the, the code, but it still is not working. Yeah, I'm gonna show you what's what happened. Six uh, event timer, uh, auxiliary output, timer MCCP. Okay, look it. This is one error here. This is say is not implicit. It's implicit. Ah, oh, okay. I forget. Include the MCCP. Include this and include all the all this. What what? Look that for uh, uh, this kind of errors. I can spend a lot of time yeah because I don't know where is found it but it's important add this line uh, on the main because this have all the declaration of the functions of these functions okay then again compile clean and build and see what hap what appears okay it's good. And now run. Let me see. Yeah. 
is lies. I don't know what's wrong here. I gonna maybe the I I mean there is an error on the kind of on the nomenclature. I mean maybe the interrupt is the P and not the T. Yes, let me check here. Should be the high P, not T, but try again. Okay. I have changed the light toggle here. Yeah. And what happens here? Okay. Look at now. Virtual planet. Okay. Mm, sorry. Maybe this a, a conflict between. Show you try to show you the frequency that appears on the okay, this here, yeah. You can see here, this is the toggle. I want to try to here, okay. Yes, okay. Look, this is the frequency. Is, is near 20 kilohertz. Come back to our calculation here. Yeah. It's a 40. You say, what, what if frequency is 40 kilohertz, why here says 20? No, it's because the toggle, the toggle turn on and off each 40 kilohertz, yeah? If I place, for example, cursors here, let me see F1, F1, manual, truck, okay, truck, and move. Let me see if the Okay, I'm gonna show you the cursor on one edge of this. Okay, and the menu, the cursor V, cursor A, and try to the next slope. Yeah. Kilohertz, may I 40 kilohertz in this moment. 
40 kilohertz of time or here and here, here. Then it, this is one way we can have a save for for you. This is a way to to check this code is running in the right way. Okay. Then try to to test this what I have made and let, uh, ask me any any issue. I'm gonna stop because it's so long time for you.